white race as a whole ain't the enemy There's racist white people, but we're far from that collectively White boy, don't say that White boy, oh you so bad White boy, you wish you were black White boy, dear white boy Hey YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists who have low subscribers and low views, as well as talented artists from around the world. Now, once again, I have no idea or the reason why they have low subscribers or low views. But I'm going to bring it to the forefront on my channel for us to view. Now today I'm going to do my best to upload about say four reactions. And I will let you know on these particular artists as I'm going along. So my third reaction of today is going to be Tom McDonald aka Sir McDonald. This particular song is or track is called White Boy. I have no idea of the angle where he's coming from. And I'm not even going to um I'm not even going to think about it. I'm just going to be and let it be what it is. And, and from that I can look at it, react to it, and be overwhelmed by it, um, have the wild wow factor by it, and all the things that come into it when you are watching Tom McDonald, aka Sir McDonald's, any one of his um songs so far. I've, so far, the pleasure that I've had in reacting to an amazing poet um who is so you feel the heart pump every time when you actually listen or um, listen to his bars, watch him in perform. He, he, he just brings everything out onto the table. It really, really, really does. So that's going to be my next reaction of today. But before that, if this is your first time coming over to my channel, then please go over to my homepage and work your way from the bottom all the way up to the top because there's some fantastic, amazing artists which I do not want you to miss out on. And I've broken it down into various categories I've simplified it for you. Just remember, when you go into these various categories, these are artists from around the world, both established artists and non-established artists. And I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Now, before I go on to my third reaction of today, there's a number of shout outs that I like to give as well as read a couple of your comments. So Purple Dream 34, um, good morning, how you doing? Michael A um, Adobe, or I don't know how to pronounce your surname, but I gave it a go. Good morning, how you doing? Um, Ashamam Singh, good morning, how you doing? Um, Wolverine K, really? Wolverine? How did you get Wolverine? <laughs> I want to know about that. Um, good morning, Wolverine. Uh, Wiki Showplay. Good morning. How you doing? Pete Mack. Good morning. How you are you? Tara Grantio. Hope I said your name right. Good morning. Um, Amy Ballard. Good morning. How you doing? Can you pl can you do Black um, Peng um, Peng Pengagus? Um, or is that Pegasus? Or is that possibly Pegasus? I'm not too sure. And um, with Steve Stone, Ten Toes Down. That is on the back of the Boom Bap 101. Um, I don't know what that is. I will definitely check it out. But um, I actually, if you can send me the link, it will save me a lot of time. Um, Himani and um, Visagami. I hope I said your name right. I very much doubt I did. Um, KK. Good morning. How you doing? Regarding Arajit Singh. Um, new song arrived. Um, Deshmeh. Such an emotional, patriotic, heart-touching song. Could you react? Um, I've already downloaded it. I have reacted to it. I just haven't uploaded it. So there you go for that one. Um, PM. Good morning. Um, good. I'd like to say a massive good morning to the, um to the um Hangover Gang. Um. For your massive support and just being there. So thank you very much as well for that. Um, um, Daya Mashra. Um, react to lyrical video of Term Hole by Moyet Chanan. One of the most soothing and brief some Hindi songs. And this person has asked me to react to a Hindi song. Even though she has watched the Tom McDonald reaction um, Boom Bat 101. So she's from India. Wanted me to react to a Hindi song, but she's listened to a Tom McDonald song. Come on. 
That's brilliant. Um, Tawana, good morning. How are you? And they gave us a sweet little love song on Valentine's called Gang Gang. It gives a sweet picture into their life. And when I say a love song is not a like a ballad, um, it's perfect um, for them. It's actually Nova's song, so you will find it under her name. She's a great artist, artist in her own right. Definitely check out her own her stuff. I will be definitely checking out Nova because she's the uh, she's the other part that fits this puzzle. Um, what make what is Tom McDonald? Obviously, you got to know Nova to to feel a bit of what to, Tom McDonald is. You know, you can't get one without the other. I'm just, you know, and I'm and I'm sure Tom McDonald, aka Ace, um, Sir McDonald, has already shown that or emphasised that already in number of times over, whether it be in the interview or whether it be within his rap songs, which I'm going to be looking at and checking out and scrutinising and see and see if I see any or hear any kind of reference to what is um, Nova. I'm blabbering on. Apologies for that. Let's go straight into my third reaction. This is White Boy. So without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs. And I... Damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? I cannot feel guilty for that I didn't do. But I can understand the reasons why you think that I should. Yeah, I'm white, but I never put your neck in no noose. And I never burnt a cross or hit my face with a hood. You can't just label. So I'm gonna stop it right there and I will go back just a little bit. Um, I remember there was a, a subscriber that asked me if I can add on the um, the preview to this, where he was sitting there in same in that same class speaking to the actors and actresses about how this mo uh, um, about how he wanted it to be portrayed. He was giving it the lyrics and how and they're all taking notes and everything else um, about and asking questions about this particular um, track. Uh, which I find it very, very interesting. So I'm just letting you guys know that I did watch the preview first uh, before I reacted to this. And the preview is, is basically him talking about this particular track um, with the same um, artists um, and, uh, and actress, uh, or whatever you want to call them, um, and talking about this particular song, which I found was very, very interesting. So I'd like to say a big, massive thank you for that. I didn't put it on top of this because it was six minutes long. Um, and I wanted this, I want my reactions to be under the 20 minutes and I knew it wouldn't be under the 20 minutes if I'd done that. Um, but I just let you guys know that I actually did um, see that and watch that. I'm going to go back just a little bit. The reasons why you think that I should. Yeah, I'm white, but I never put your neck in no noose. And I never burnt a cross or hit my face with a hood. You can't just label me racist because I'm related to people who did some terrible way back before I was alive. My parents brought me up to treat everyone as an equal. I refuse to feel ashamed because of my pretty blue eyes. And not some white supremacist. Anyone who labels me as that because of my family genetics. The hatred for Caucasians is so pathetic. Go be proud that you're black, but don't hate me for some credit. I'm not the white devil, neo-Nazi cop trying to pull the trigger. You can call me what you want, but I'd still never say. The white race as a whole ain't the enemy. There's racist white people, but we're far from that collectively. White boy, don't say that. White boy, oh you so bad. White boy, you wish you were black. White boy, be white boy. Right, there is, when this came out, there, it must have hit so many nerves. Wow, and I'm going to speak about this in a hell of a lot more details after I have um, watched this particular amazing title. That It's not a sore subject, but it's certainly a subject that should be, be placed at the forefront. And I'm so I'm going to be reserved and I'm going to be watching and listening to what uh, Sir McDonald is doing on this. It's a long time coming. And I think I'm going to be saying that quite a few times with his particular subjects, what he, he brings to the forefront. It's a long time coming. I've said it already. And this is my second time that I've said it. It's a long time coming. <laughs> I'm going to go back just a little bit. Some 
cognac sitting next to me. I don't assume that every black's favorite drink is Hennessy. I don't dislike Tanisha because her first name isn't Stephanie. Not only is that wrong, it's a waste of energy. Ivory or ebony, 45 or 17, we all bleed the same. Martin Luther King or Kennedy. They're angry, I'm reciting the facts. He's white and he raps. He stole the culture right from the facts. Okay, it's fire, but we lit the flame. He's siphoning gas. So fuck this corny little honky man, the whitey is whack. You letting history perpetuate the hatred within. And then you paint me with the brush you painted slave owners with. Yeah. White boy, don't say that. White boy, oh, you so bad. White boy, you wish you were black. White boy, hey, still you white boy. Look, he's be fire. A sister, an auntie, an uncle, and a grandma that I picture when you're openly hating. And God willing, one day I'll have a kid of my own. I refuse to let you blindly hate my wife and my baby, so go ahead and hate the racist. I pray for their extinction. If you want to hate the white people, just make the distinction between the ones who want the best for everyone regardless and the ones who build the system just to smother you with hardship. Stop before you say it. I know what you've been thinking. How's a straight white male in 2018? You're making me the villain by demonizing my race For things I didn't do and decisions I didn't make No one that I call a friend has ever owned a slave And neither did our dads or our dad's dads Sakes acknowledging atrocities were wrongly committed Is all that I can offer when I'm wrongly convicted I would never hate a man for what God gave him in pigments And I would never plot against him just because he is different I would never judge a human for the cards he was given Or call him lesser than myself because of the race that he's mixed with White people that you hate aren't your neighbors or lawyers They're the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bushes and Royals They're the people who monopolized the water and oil And injected your communities with drugs that they spoiled Got no patience for Nazis, I think they're better off dead The fighting hatred with hatred making the hate more intense mm. I don't want nothing to do with either side of the fence So don't blindly attack me for wearing braids on my head Hate the people who believe you put yourselves in the ghetto Hate the ones who teach their children you ain't Cause they said so Hate the ones who think you're all the same and judge you profusely Cause the way that you're portrayed on our news and in movies Ooh. Being white and being racist aren't the same and I promise No, it's hard to tell the difference if I'm just being honest I deserve the chance to show you I'm not part of the problem And you owe it to yourselves, we got so much in common White boy, don't say that mm. White boy, oh you so bad White boy, you wish you were black White boy, be a white boy Say that white boy, oh you so bad, white boy, you wish you were black, white boy, dear white boy. So that was Tom McDonald with White Boy. First of all, I'm very, very surprised that I only managed to pause it once. I want you to listen to every single part. There was about, say, three times, four, four times where I wanted to pause. But I thought, no, 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 no. Leave it until the end. So this is it. I feel that everybody in this whole planet is bloody racist to some kind of degree. Where they don't like that particular um, uh, race for some, some reason. Uh, and I see it, and, and I've been, you know, I've reacted to music from around the world. I, I very, I see myself as um, a multicultural person. Um, London is definitely one of the um, successful multicultural cities on in the planet. I'm telling you like that, like it is. And it's, it's a shock because look how small England is compared to the planet. It shouldn't be like that. It should be multi, we should be a multicultural planet. But no, we're still segregated in some kind of form, of, a shape or form. And the people that are feeling more harder than anybody else regarding segregation and trying to get out of this, believe it or not, um, I believe is um, America. America is too segregated. It really is. And they're trying to come out of it, but... You always find some kind of excuse to go back to race again. Oh, black, black, white. You know, you know, I've never heard a country talk about their colour so much than America. And I'm telling you that right now. America is, and it's sort of like, it, it, 
And not only that, your this disease, it washes out to other countries. you got now other countries using the N-word as a fashion. That was only kind of like America. You know? Why? I don't understand it. There's so much different kind of things where race, regardless if you're being racist or not racist, that you want to put race in the forefront of, of your title all the time. You know, oh, black person. Don't, and even it could be in a joke. You know, I've never seen, heard so many black people talk about their black skin colour in before other than America. You know, you go to other countries in around the world, other part from America, and I guarantee they will not. Yeah, they might talk about their skin colour, but not as the as a day to day thing as much as what America does. You know, oh, you can walk through a chemist shop. Oh, you know, I need some blah blah because my black skin blah blah. Or, or walk through a, a chicken shop. Yeah, I need. It's all different kind of things, and they, they can't help but to want to emphasize their black skin where it's not their black skin that's getting themselves a job it's not the black skin that's getting themselves this or black it's you your identity you what you've been born with your spirit your dish and your that um you know a, a your skin color shouldn't we be uh, should come shouldn't become in part of your uh, um emphasis in your life in this whole integrity yes you know i'm black but I don't let that um, warrant my, my nature, warrant what I've got to do in life. It doesn't. And there's so many excuses that you, people want to use and bring skin colour into it. It's not, I mean, there's some things that Thomas hit on um, that, that, that has so much significance. It really, really does, coming from a white person's perspective. And it is, you know, how many times has, uh, you know... Uh, the people of today are not responsible for the things that happened yesterday. You know, slavery, the people that was responsible for slavery, they all died, they all dead. Yes, their children live on, but their children wouldn't think, well, you know, if I had time, I'll bring you back all into slavery because that's what my grandpa P and granddad and grandpa P after that was name. That is a minute amount of people. Yeah, they are not the majority of people that say that. They're the minority of people that. That's slowly phasing out. But yet what is still strong is the scars of um, people who... Look, people of today was not born into slavery. Yes, their ancestors was. And yes, we're still carrying the torch of our ancestors that have been put into slavery and everything else. Um, and we talk like we've been the ones that's been in, in slaves. We can only understand that what our ancestors been through and try and get some kind of uh, retribution from that. I understand that. But going out there to hate somebody else because what their ancestors done to our ancestors is not making us going forward. It's not. Let them, let our ancestors hate each other and all that. They, let them battle it up right now, up in heaven or indeed in hell. Let them have their fight. Our fight is completely different. We're the living fight where we make a difference in this world. And we've got massive choices. We can either hate or we can either congratulate. We can either stipulate, scrutinise um, and through that more hatred. Or we can just love each other and say that, you know what? Hey, our history is pretty much messed up, you know, but it does not define who we are and what we're going to bring to the table in going forward in making a better future for our, for our children and our children's children. Um, so, yes, when you look at me, you've got hate. But you got hate from what you've been, um, I'm not saying what you've been taught or what you've been learned, but there's, there's a lot of history. There's history hate, history, historical um, hate, which needs to be diluted um, because we can't bring that into the future. We can reconcile with it. We can get some kind of, like I said, retribution from it, but we cannot let it churn into our blood where we are uh, um, bringing it onto a day-to-day -day situation because it's not, because we're, we're coming up with the wrong answers and the wrong accusations of people of our standard and our race. And Thomas hit so much different things, so much different subjects on that, you know, regarding his, his hair's braided and all that, all different kind of things. Um, oh, you want me, you want to be black? No, they don't want to be black. They're white and they're mostly. I, I, I'm glad that I'm black. I don't want to be white, and same way that a white person doesn't want to be a black person, you know. But they don't want to be having the um, ancestral string attached to them because of their skin color. It's like no matter what they do or say, you know, then it takes one word for them to be a racist. No.
No, then you need to know what a racist is. is. Saying something that can be stipulated as racism doesn't make them racist. Certain people say certain things and you're quick to say that's racist rather than looking at what the type of the topic is and what he's saying and how he's trying to say it. You know? There's so much, e it's, it's so easy to call the race card without actually dealing with the actual situation. It really is. And I'm glad that Tom's done this particular song and this particular track. Um... I'm going through the list and I, I think it's very commendable, commendable that he's actually done something like this. It really, it really is. And I've gone on for a straight uh, seven minutes uh, long talk from this and I can go on for ages regarding this. I really can. Um, but I hope I've given you a small little insight of what I think regarding this. Um, I think it's an absolutely brilliant song. Um, he could even, he could have gone even harder. I feel that somewhat he was being reserved in this. I feel that he can, with his penmanship, he couldn't have gone, he could have gone a lot more harder than what he's done right there. I really, truly believe it. I think he's been reserved in there. And which is kind of like, that's not really Tom, you know? But I, I see, but he should have gone harder. He should have gone 20 times more harder than what he's done right there. And I know that he could have. I really do. For that reason, I salute you. Absolutely amazing track. White boy, don't say that White boy, oh you so bad White boy, you wish you were black